is the birthplace of Nan O'Nagel, who was born here in 1718 and who founded the Presentation Sisters. She decided to devote her entire life and her entire wealth uh, to the education of poor children because she was appalled at the shocking conditions of the poor of the country at the time. And the local people here around the parish of Kilavallen kept after the sisters for many years to buy this centre uh, because uh, it was her birthplace and they felt we should own it. So in 1974, the sisters bought the place and they've been living here as a community since 1984. Uh, then as we came towards the millennium and the whole ecological question opened up and the state of the earth and the environment, uh, the congregation made a priority of that in its ministries. And it was decided then to um, establish the land here as an organic farm at that time. So about um, five years ago, we realised we had to refurbish here and continue. Um, if we were to continue, we needed to do a major refurbishment. So because we had taken the priority of the environment, we started looking at the options we would have and how we would actually do that refurbishment. So the main thing we came up with, of course, was the heating system. So we made a decision to, that we would not have any fossil fuels in use on the premises. So we have our heat is provided by a geothermal heat pump, which is located in our car park. And the backup system is a wood pellet boiler and solar panels. Uh, their normal function is to provide hot water, but they back up should anything happen to the geothermal system. We looked at wind energy, but we're too far down in the Blackwater Valley to actually have a, um, generate our own electricity. But as an example, we just put up a little windmill at the end of our prayer room, and it provides the lights in the prayer room. It's just an example to show people what can be done. We also have uh, you know, the best of insulation in all the walls, uh, the ceilings, the floors had all to be taken up and insulation put under them because the heat runs under the floor. Um, we also have um, double glazed windows with argon gas, which is, has the best insulation properties of any of the gases. Um, we also built um, south-facing porches in the building so that they would, there would be passive solar energy gathered as well. Another decision we made was to have a reed bed system because, because of the expansion of the centre after the refurbishment, it was envisaged that we would need three septic tanks, which we didn't really want to have. So the county manager allowed us to stay with the one septic tank we have and the rest is done by a reed bed system. So that's working very well for us and we're very happy with that. Um, the major reason we invested so much money in the, in the ecological refurbishment of the place was because we're educators at heart and we really want to use this place to educate people. We run um, courses directly on alternative energies and people come who are interested in that and we bring them around and show them and tell them you know, how it's working for us and so on. Uh, we run um, horticulture courses for organic gardening, uh, which um, you will hear more about from Kitty. So yeah, a 32 acre organic um, mixed farm, and I suppose mixed farming is in the whole ethos of the centre as it keeps you know, the system closed. Mm -hmm. So and when I say mixed farm, we have um, livestock, sheep, and then about 200 hens, and then we have, well, at the, we used to have three ducks, but at the moment I think we have seven um, ducks and then we have quite a bit of an area in horticulture as well. And I suppose the system, it works for us that we have the livestock, then we have the manure, the manure goes on the garden, any excess food goes back into the, um, the hen, so it kind of keeps the system kind of closed. And then from a sales point of view, I suppose our main reason for farming is self-sufficiency. We, um, obviously it has to be viable, but we don't like sell meat at market all the meat and animals reared here are used to be served um, in the centre for meals and just to kind of cater for the community. We do sell eggs direct from the farm gate and also at the Killavullen Farmers Market and then the same with the vegetables. I suppose we have about nearly two and a half acres in organic vegetable production at the moment, some in protected cropping in polytunnels and the rest on a field scale. And we do sell vegetables um, at the Killavullen Farmers Market and direct from the farm gate as well but the main the main drive of the centre is um, self-sufficiency. Um, we also um, try to preserve the ancient crafts like stonewall building, bog oak carving, willow weaving um, uh, courses like that that are in danger of dying out and uh, we try to do that. And sometimes when we have teenagers here for retreat and we do this kind of thing with them I ask them the question what does this do to do with being a Catholic? And within a half a minute, I usually get the answer back. 
But Jesus said we were to love one another and care for one another. And so we see it very much as part of the central message of Christianity to care for our brothers and sisters right across the world. And we have sisters and visitors, lay people, teachers, past pupils who come here and they all go away really enthusiastic about caring for our earth and for our environment and trying to live more sustainable lives. And that, that motivates us to keep going then in that direction. Actually, we're very happy and feel very privileged to have received this award from Cork Environmental Forum. We've been connected with them for many years here now and get great support from them. But we're also happy because it actually acknowledges the effort we have put in. And sometimes it's hard enough to keep going and you read things and you see things and you see such waste and such wanton waste. And the last year with our economy hasn't been a good year and we can see so much wrong. But it's great to see, get recognition for the efforts that are being put in by the congregation and the, you know, the great investment our congregation has made in this whole aspect of life. And thank you very much. We're delighted to receive it.